Ladies, I am back with a good one today. Watch me slay this beautiful half wig. I'm going to take it straight from the beginning, show you the original texture and how I styled it to get it to look this good. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. Hi, you guys. So this is the original texture of the wig. I am going to take it off my head and style it on my mannequin head because that is much easier for me. But before I did that, I just wanted to show you guys the actual texture of it before I get to styling it. Um, I still have my perimeter braid out as you see, but once I actually install it, I'm going to take that down so that I can cover up the wig. And you know, those will serve as my edges. So I am just sectioning it off piece by piece and flat ironing it. I have a video already on how I flat iron my kinky straight. I will link it below. I really don't want this one too, too straight. I still want that texture to show through, but I am going to just keep sectioning it off until I do the entire wig just to get it a little bit straighter. My flat iron is on the highest setting that it can be. I usually do this with my wigs. I mean, it's not my hair, so I'm, however I can achieve the best styles on my wigs, that's how I do it. The high setting does not affect the hair at all. Um, as you can see, the hair takes heat very, very well. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I have put on my wig cap and I took that first braid down so that it can cover the wig. And now I'm just going to install the wig. The first thing I'm going to do is flat iron my perimeter so that it can match the wig a little bit because I flat ironed the wig. So now that I'm flat ironing my actual hair, I have turned my heat down on my flat iron. I do not use a heat protectant. I still over these years have not gotten the point of them. Um, they really don't protect my hair from breaking and I don't really get a lot of breakage the few times a year that I do flat iron my hair. So I just skip the heat protectants altogether. So I'm just going to flat iron my perimeter so that it can blend better with the wig since I have already flat ironed the wig. So now I'm going to go in with my favorite edge control. They have another one now with a black top. I think it's the Extreme Mega Hole that I recently tried and that one is awesome as well. But this one is good too. This is what I had today. So I'm gonna go in with this to lay my edges. And now I'm just taking an edge brush to make sure that I am brushing it fully in. If you don't, it will turn a little white depending on how much you use. So I'm just going through and making sure that I brush it in all the way. So this is how it looks after I have flat ironed it. It's beautiful. It still has a lot of texture and a lot of body. So I'm just going to put it on and adjust it to where I need it to sit. It has three combs on the inside, two in the front, one in the back. But I will tell you a secret. I am really not a fan of combs on any wigs. In fact, I cut them out of my lace wigs completely if they come with combs. And when I make my wigs, I don't add combs at all. I just use the elastic band. But I'm going to use two. I'm going to use the one in the back and one on the sides because I have to with the half wigs. And once I get it to where I need it to be, I will adjust it comb through those side bangs that I cut in it and make sure that it's looking the way that I want it to look. All right, you guys, that is it. This is the final product. I love how this looks. It looks amazing. Like literally like I went and got my hair done. And I really did. It's just a half wig that I flat iron and I styled. I just 
cut me some little bangs because this was the look that I was going for and I really loved how it looked. And as you can see, you don't need lace for every style. You can get away with the half wig for some things, for other things, obviously for parts and all that, you would need lace, but I am super satisfied. Let me show you guys the back so that you can see the texture a little bit. if you can see it but I just want to show you guys quickly what it looks like from the back as well again this is our kinky bliss half wig and I know I said half wig but it's big enough for you to just be able to leave your perimeter out anyway thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one